Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. Today I'm looking at the OtterBox commuter case for the HTC Droid DNA for Verizon. It retails for $34.95 and it comes in a couple of colors, black and glacier. Uh, of course, this being the glacier model, go ahead and open it up here. Uh, we ordered it, I believe, a little bit after Cyber Monday because they didn't have it available right on Cyber Monday and I just got it today. So it should fit our 5 inch device pretty well. Let's see what comes with it. Probably a screen protector, even though we already have one mounted so we're not going to mount this. This is one of the harder uh, plastic screen protectors like the ones you get, can get at Verizon for the device. Uh, it comes with a lint free cloth and an application uh, card to make sure that you get all the bubbles out. So the inner shell is uh, like a rubberized silicone. Uh, piece. You can see the uh, thick bumpers on the outside and appropriate cutouts. The first part of this video is actually being filmed with my Droid DNA because I left my camera at work again. And you can see the little black accent right there. Uh, of course none of these have any um, actual screen in between them. Uh, volume up, down rocker, power button, 3.5 millimeter headphone uh, jack, or actually there's the mic and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. At the bottom you have a a big opening for the micro uh, USB and will also show that it will support uh, ch wireless charging. So now I'm going to change over to my Galaxy Note 2 so I can do the rest of this filming. Alright, so first I'm going to need to take the Defender case off that I had on it. If you guys do use the Defender case, you'll probably notice that the built-in screen protector requires a little bit more input because there is some standoff distance between it and the screen on your DNA. So eventually we will install our zag when it comes. Take the device out, place it in the skin, and then we'll place the rest of it on top of it. Make sure you line up the power button and the volume rockers. You'll probably know that there's less feedback with the volume. So the ends allow the silicone to be exposed to absorb drops. You can easily access your ports. They seem to stick in there pretty well. Looks nice. As you can see, the Defender case on the right is thicker than the commuter on the left. Just like the rest of the cases I've tested, there's no problem charging the DNA wirelessly using the LG charging mat. So that's my first look at the OtterBox commuter case in Glacier. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.